Norcross is a city that I feel like is constantly overlooked and I personally feel like it really deserves honorable mention it should be a place that you consider if you're thinking about making a move. So today I'm going to share with you all of the pros and cons, good and bad about Norcross. That way you can really make sure that you make an educated decision about if this would be a good place for you and your family. Norcross is a city that's located in Gwinnett County. It's just below Suwannee, Duluth, and then Norcross. So it's a little bit closer into the city. It's got about 17,000 people. And the thing that I like about Norcross with the location is the fact that if you need to commute into the city or perhaps you need to travel, need to hit up the airport often, you don't even have to hit Highway 85. You can literally take what's called Peachtree Industrial Boulevard and that actually turns into Highway 141. That will go all the way in town. It takes you through Chambly, into Buckhead, then into Atlanta. So you never even have to hit 85. Or if you like the highway, but then let's say that there's a, a traffic accident, you can jump off and there's another route to take you home or take you into the city, whichever way you're needing to commute. But that is huge when it comes to Atlanta traffic because let's face it, Atlanta traffic is horrible. As you're driving around Norcross, you can't help but notice all of the green space, the trees, the parks. Norcross has been renovating probably the last 10 years and really trying to come back to life because it had gotten a little sleepy, if you will, for some time. A lot of Norcross on one side is more, I don't wanna say industrial, but it's a lot of business parks on that Peachtree Industrial Corridor. But then there's a lot of area where it was the downtown corridor They've tried to really keep in all of that historic charm because a lot of people don't know Norcross has a lot of history. There's the old train station, which now they've turned into a restaurant. There's the old downtown area that's um, you know still there and thriving. So as you're driving around, you're gonna see Lillian Webb Park, which is a beautiful area that's right off of the downtown. There's Thrasher Park, and Thrasher Park is where they are going to have a ton of festivals and live music. Norcross is a highly diverse area, and so with these festivals, they really try to bring the community together. They've got art festivals, music festivals. Um, during the summertime and then kind of into the fall, they've got live music almost every weekend. Now in the downtown corridor that I just mentioned, you're gonna see endless amounts of shopping and restaurants. It's mostly boutique shops. They've got the British store, which is one of my favorite. I go in there all the time just because obviously I don't get to see all of these candies and snacks and different things that they offer. One of my favorite restaurants down here though has got to be Mojitos. It's a Cuban American spot with some of the best food. And not only that, they have live music on the weekend. So, you know, you might get into a little bit. I don't know. It might be your thing. Another one that I really like is going to be the Iron Horse. A lot of people that are working at some of the tech park come here after work just to grab a drink, relax, talk after work, and then head home. Norcross is not far from Peachtree Corners and Berkeley Lake, which I have to say are two other locations that I feel are constantly being missed, but that's for another video. In Peachtree Corners, you're going to have the Forum, and at the Forum is going to be like an outdoor mall shopping experience. This is where you've got more of your Pottery Barn, Lululemon, Banana Republic, your traditional when you think of shopping, not the little boutique shops like in downtown. So if you're needing to get to some more traditional shopping, you're gonna head over here to the Forum. Another thing that they have here at the Forum, which I'm actually frequenting often because Swanee, Duluth, Johns Creek, none of them have Trader Joe's. I don't know if you have a Trader Joe's where you are, but I love Trader Joe's. So I'm actually allergic to peanuts and no one makes anything else, but Trader Joe's has these little bitty almond cups and they're absolutely my favorite. So probably once a month, I make a little trip to Trader Joe's and make sure that I stock up on all of my goodies. So if you live in Norcross, you're five minutes from Trader Joe's and you're lucky. As I mentioned, Norcross is a city that is in Gwinnett County. And being that you're in Gwinnett, you have access to those top rated schools that Gwinnett County has. Gwinnett is rated fifth in the entire state of Georgia. 
Now seeing that they have over 180,000 students, Gwinnett is gonna be one of the largest school districts in the entire Metro Atlanta area. Now, if you're thinking a private school or just a different type of schooling is better for your family, there's tons of options for that as well. Woodward Academy is gonna be a local private school. You're also not far from Greater Atlanta Christian. It's right over in Lilburn, which is gonna be about a 10 to 15 minute drive. So not far at all. Georgia, of course, has tons of different homeschool options or hybrid programs where maybe the kids go to school a couple of days and then they're homeschooling with you a couple of days. So if you think that that's something that's of interest to you, I have a lot of information on that. Um, so just reach out to me and I'm happy to send all of that over. Now, obviously, if you're looking to make a move, housing is a pretty important topic that we should discuss. There's no shortage of housing here in Norcross. As you drive through the downtown corridor, again, you're gonna notice that a lot of the housing is the old historic homes. But then you're gonna notice that there's a lot of new construction here as well. It's kind of intermingled. And what I love that Norcross did that I don't see a lot of other cities doing is they required the builders that were building in the downtown corridor to have a higher standard of the facade of the home. So if you notice, a lot of the new construction really blends in with the older homes because they require the builders to have craftsman style properties when they were building. Another thing you're going to see is a million dollar home and then a $200,000 home. Everything is just mixed in. So when I say Norcross is diverse, I mean it. And I'm not just talking about race. I'm talking about financial. I'm talking about um, anything and everything that you can think of. Norcross is just a big mixing bowl and it's what makes it so great. Now Norcross does not have a lot of properties on the market as of this video. There are only 53 homes that are on the market right now with only 36 of those being single family. The rest of those are going to be townhome options and let me tell you Norcross has some beautiful townhome options. Some of them are right here on Lillian Webb Park Again, you're walking distance to the downtown area, which I personally love because that's not something that you find in a lot of towns. And I know a lot of people that have relocated from say Los Angeles, Miami, New York, you're used to having the walkability factor. And unfortunately in Georgia, that's not something that we did well. You know, I have to, to say that's not something that we thought of. Our suburbs were so far apart without public transportation you have to own a car. And that's another thing, a lot of cities in Gwinnett County don't have public transportation. Norcross does. Norcross has access to public transportation. So if that's something that's important to you, Norcross is definitely a place that you should check out. Now I wanted to show you a couple of the homes here in Norcross so that you can get a feel for what I'm talking about. So check out this house here for $699,000. And if you look at some of the other cities, you're not getting this type of property for that amount of price. And then if you take a look here, this is some of the newer townhomes. This one's coming in right at $500,000, just under that. And if you look, I mean, this has some great things going on here, you guys. If you're thinking about making a move, I would definitely encourage you to check out Norcross. Let us know if you have any questions, drop them down in the chat. Better yet, if you live in the area, Drop a comment down in the chat. Tell us what you think. That way you're helping out our viewers, positive, negative, whatever it is that you think. That way viewers are able to scroll, look at it and get a realistic view from somebody that lives in the area. If you're thinking about making a move or just have questions, my team and I would love to be a resource for you. Don't hesitate to reach out. Our information is below. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.